Is it recording? Back the camera up a little bit. Is it recording? Yes. Okay. Is it center? Yes. Alright. Let's do our thumbnail first. You gotta make it look click clickbaitish. Alright, get 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 your get your out uh, egg roll. Wait, get your egg roll. What? Right. I got a shirt, you got an egg roll. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Did they see my plate? What up, Ann? You got ace on my plate? Mm -hmm. You got ace on my plate? Mm -hmm. You ready? Yes. Hey, what up, fam? It's Chrissy here. And today we are going to be doing a Chinese food mukbang. Me and my son, Marcel. We went to, where did we go? China Moon. China Moon right here. We have, um, both of us have basically the same thing. We have uh, sesame chicken and fried rice. And we have some fried shrimp and some shrimp rolls. Let's say grace. Yeah, shrimp rolls. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this food we're about to receive. Make it nourishing for our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's get rid of it. So how was everyone's 4th of July? Ours was um, <laughs> eventful. It was interesting. It was funny. It was interesting. Yeah. A little dangerous. A little dangerous. Because... Um, we did our own fireworks basically it was let's just say it was quite smoky it was a tad bit <laughs> it was a tad bit smoky um but and then the crazy thing about it is you remember that what was that scene from that movie um where they were doing the um if y'all hear something to my right that's Morgan over there making noise and doing what she do. But um you ever seen that what was that scene of that movie where everybody was shooting a gun and then he come out with that little pistol? Bang, bang, bang. Harlem um, no. Was it was Harlem no, no. Night. That's how I felt about our uh, Fourth of July because my cousin had a bag of fireworks and the fireworks those was little mini TNT. They were little titty fireworks. And then the people up the street, they got the ones that's bursting all in the air. And we like, ooh. And then I was like, pow, pow, pow. Bang, bang. <laughs> well, yeah. But it was quite even. It was, it was better because um, of the simple fact that it was with family. So that's what made it fun. Um, so, yeah. Butter uh mm -mm -mm. Who eats an egg roll like that? Me, who just bites it? Me. Who breaks an egg roll? I gotta see what's in it. Shrimp. I see how they put it in there. The mini one or the big one? It's a big mm -hmm. one. Yeah, I see the shrimp. You see it. You're not cold enough to do that. Yes, I know. I'm going to add one. That big shrimp in the top. <laughs> He's drinking. What is that? A bush lemonade. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm with the old trusty. A big goat. <laughs> And if y'all hear some kids in the background, that's Michael Fatima upstairs letting it go. When is that movie gonna go away? Mm -hmm. Never. It's a classic. It's a classic, man. I mean, jeez, they just be doing the most. 
I took the team to the um to the doctor today because she had to get um a, in, a endoscopy um because we were having problems with her digesting food and the lady said well do you like stickers she's like yeah she's like what kind of stickers you want elsa i was like elsa <laughs> elsa but she found a one but right? still mm -mm -mm. this is good we had a chi we had a Chinese restaurant around the corner that we went to one time, and Marcel will not eat from there anymore mm -hmm. because the <laughs> the rice him and Morgan got first of all first of all, first of all. the rice was uncooked. Mm -hmm. Second of all, when they was done, they called us every five seconds <laughs> until we got there. It's done. It's done. Okay, I'm on my way. It's done. It's done. Okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> I told them they probably used the jokers ordering food, sticking them up and not coming. But we was coming. I was hungry. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> yep. But what I want to talk about is um for all of y'all who aspire to go overseas I suggest you do it we had the privilege our family had the privilege of living overseas um not because I mean it was a privilege it was a uh, it was it, it was different um, I my husband is a government contractor so that's where we got the ability to have that experience to live, you know, overseas. Um, we actually lived in Kuwait. And um, I went prior to the kids. I went, wasn't it like two times before the kid, before y'all? Yeah. I think I went two times before y'all. The first time I stayed three weeks. The second time I stayed for... A month. A month. A month. Uh, was it only a month or was it two months? It was months? like a month and a half. Probably about a month and a half. Mm -hmm. And then it was when, supposed to be two months. Yeah, but what? yeah, it was supposed to be two months. But um, just put it out there. Uh, we were robbed, so I had to fly back home, you know, to do the police reports and stuff because they were there with my sister, and it was my house, so they needed to talk to the owner. So, but um. So, Did you go back though? Mm -mm. I and mean, then that's when we no. started living there. No, when when I came. Me and me and Marcel come over there with y'all. When I came back, I came back and Mike flew back about a couple of weeks later. But we decided that we were just going to take the kids because that distance between us was just terrible. It was it was horrible. It was really bad. Oh um. We came back here. We had us a good old cookout in the backyard, in my mom's backyard. And we, were, me and Mike renewed our wedding vows in front of the family. And that, what, the next day? What, the next day? The next day. Then we leave the next day after. Mm -hmm. No. But we left shortly thereafter. And we packed up the house and packed up the kids. and. We were there. The only thing, I mean, I would suggest. That was a long time ago. It was. It wasn't that long ago. No, it I was like 13, 15, 14. You were not. Mm -hmm. You were not. 14. Yeah, you were because when you came back. 14. Next week. I was a freshman. Mm -hmm. When we came back, it was probably like. Mm -hmm. I started in the middle of the year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got to go um, there, too. Yeah, we, they were about to start school. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, she was. She was I was about to go to school there. Oh, yeah, you were. On last day. But if you don't have your passport, get it. Get your passport and explore. You only live one life. And you don't appreciate what you have until you experience 
other life and how other people live. So I would suggest getting your passport and traveling. It just so happens that my kids got to go and live in um, uh, another country at a at an age to where they could appreciate it. You know, like say if you had a kid that was two or three, they wouldn't be able to appreciate that because they're not gonna remember. But they actually remember. We have actual memories of things that we did. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. We lived in Kuwait. <laughs> I didn't say that, did I? We were we lived in Kuwait. You think about it? I want to go see like New York. Mm-hmm. Cause we live like on top of a bodega. Mm-hmm. What people don't realize is they they associate other countries as being dangerous, which they are. I mean, you don't live there, so you're vulnerable. The United States, but. The United, right, the United States is just as dangerous as we are. I mean, as they are. Or probably more. But what the thing that put us in the most danger was the stupid stuff that Americans were doing while we were over there. You know what I mean? That it was just like, you know, something would happen here and then there would be riots at the, um, at the, uh, what was it? The, um, what is that thing called at the um, at the embassy at the U.S. embassy? So we wouldn't be able to come out. You can't travel out without anybody. We just happened to meet some very very nice people who helped us out a lot. We had some cool people that helped us out. Look how big that chicken is, y'all. Look at that. Huge. But what did y'all do for the 4th of July? What kind of fun did y'all have? But um anyway, I uh I was trying not to choke. <laughs> it was right there, it was a but um I also had the um privilege of going to a couple other places. I went to live in um well I didn't live, I visited Dubai. And I went to Thailand. We actually had a um I still want to go to Dubai. Do you have any napkins? No. I don't have any of it. We vacationed in Thailand for, who has a vacation for three weeks? We did. We had a vacation in Thailand for three weeks before we came back to the United States. We actually flew Morgan and Marcel back to the United States mm -hmm. by themselves. You're talking about somebody was on edge for the only one scared. Scared to death. She made us call her at every layover. Every layover. You heard me. I was scared. I was like, Lord, my kids. And, and see, the thing about it is, is Marcel and Morgan bickered so bad. Some, some, uh, when they were younger, they bickered so bad. They fought over everything. And me and dad had to sit down and have a talk with y'all. I was like, look, y'all got to make the same move at the same time. I don't care what it is, y'all got to go together. So they did good. They they did good. Sorry. <laughs> I wanna fly again. Hmm? I wanna fly again. Mm -hmm. But we had a ball. Would I live back in Kuwait again? No. No, I ain't like it. It's like the ice cream shop down mm -hmm. the street. The lifestyle was cool, but mm -hmm. not there. Talk about our apartment. If I about that, I'd just go to New York. Talk about our apartment. The condo. We lived um, in an apartment that, well, all of our apartments were on top of storage, weren't 
And when we lived there, that was my favorite movie, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's called We the Party. And um, all the channels over there are in Arabic. So I think at the time, <laughs> Morgan was Morgan was so weak when she found Dora the Explorer. Oh, it was Dora. Oh, Dora Dora the Explorer was in Arabic. And she thought that was the funniest thing ever. She's like, Ma, listen to this. It's in Arabic. Honey, Dora, I don't know what she was doing. She was saying the map in Arabic. But... It was a learning experience. I know one time I visited, it was during Ramadan. I had no idea. Um, you know, I knew about it, but I didn't know the importance of it. And my husband made sure he schooled me before I got off of that plane. He was like, look, I don't know. What you gonna be eating and drinking on the plane, that's fine. Once you step off, throw your bottle away. Don't be eating anything because you go in jail. And I can't, if I can't, it, he couldn't get me out until Ramadan was over. It's disrespectful. So I made sure I didn't have a water bottle, threw all my water bottles away. I made sure that I wasn't chewing on no gum, sucking on no peppermints. I wasn't doing nothing. I was like, mm-mm, can't go to jail over here. Y'all ever watch that that um, documentary about, um, I think it's called Imprisoned Overseas. It's something on, um, it's something on Netflix about going to jail overseas. I don't want to go to jail overseas. And you know they look at you, they already know you're American, so. I didn't even know about Ramadan when well, I got there. It was, around, it was around Ramadan when me and Warren got there, too. And I came outside chewing gun and got cussed out. Hey, everybody. No, my dad. Uh, <laughs> well, the only thing I do know, I can say, is that over there, they are, well, where I was in Dubai, as well as in Kuwait, they are the most devout people to their religion these people I mean they're called a prayer I think it, it, it ended up being around four something in the morning it was like five. man will wake you up out of your sleep and, and I would just be like okay what when what I looked out the window one day because I didn't I didn't know you know what was really I knew what was going on but I didn't know what to what magnitude I looked out the window and right under my like near my apartment under my apartment was a mosque the first apartment me and daddy stayed in before y'all got there they come out of the woodworks if y'all hear me these people you see nobody it's scarce soon as the call to prayer come these folks come out of the woodworks they are the Devoted. They are all the wells. Devoted. Washing their hands. Their we got back the little wells, washing their hands, washing their face. They devoted. And and they just devoted. I, I've never seen to that magnitude. My kids letting it go. Do y'all hear them? I know you hear them letting it go. But I feel like that was a good learning experience for my kids. I'm happy they experienced it. As well as the heat. This is the best heat though. For you. It feel better though. Mm-mm. It's tripping. That heat feel like it's baking you from the inside. That heat was terrible. I'm gonna tell y'all a story. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> we took me and Mike decided we was gonna go to the movies. So we took Morgan and Marcel to the movies. And um we had a driver and once the movie was over we called the driver 
Kuwait is always congested. The roads are always congested, even in the middle of the night, which is the time that most people come out because it's hot during the day. You know, the sun is out and it's hot. It's hot at night, but there's no sun out. So. We took them to the movies. Movie was over. We had already called our driver. <laughs> and we were standing outside waiting for the driver. Mind you, it was about, I said it was about 120 degrees that night. And when the wind blows, it's, it's not like the wind blow here. The wind blow here that blow like some air that'll help you be able to deal with the heat. That air is like a convection oven type air. So it's not helping you, it's making things worse. So we were standing outside of the movie theater and we was waiting for the driver. All of a sudden we looked over Morgan. <laughs> and we was like, what's wrong? It's hot. She was so hot. The girl started crying. You talking about somebody, somebody was weak? It just so happened that there was an ice cream shop right where we were so we went in the ice cream shop and got them ice cream and waited on the inside until our driver came that girl got the crying i said lord my kids ain't used to this heat they're not used to it that heat will kill you you'll go above 100. every day don't judge them <laughs> let them live they're letting it go They are letting it go. It's in a different language too. I'm cool. You're on my level. I ain't. But you know it's gonna get ate. Don't touch my food by me. You eat more. One what? A piece of chicken while you sleep. Mm-mm. <laughs> Don't judge my baby like that. <clears throat> That's her song. She been letting it go for years. But I really think that um, Michael's gonna be a singer, and Fatima, Morgan thinks she's gonna be a ballerina because she likes to flip. That's that athlete. Yeah, she is. She do got a little athletic build. She's tall. She tall and thin. Michael got them pipes like her parents. We are actually a very musical family. We actually record music, you know, with not just us, but with our family members. And this dude right here, he the one. He put all our stuff together. Look at how y'all can't stand this boy. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> But we supposed to be recording probably tomorrow. <laughs> leave them alone and let them live and be great. It's summer break. Ain't nothing I can do about it. They got no break. Who? Oh, Michael. Don't judge Michael. I want to eat the rest it's of my Saturday, right? Yeah. All right, cool. She off. Not getting up. Look, <laughs> he the school bus driver. <laughs> He drives me to school. At least, at least she don't be hype on the way to the way to school. At least she quiet. Cause she be dead. And I can play my music and just chill. All you gotta do is um, play her song. Mm -mm. What's that song? Uh -uh. What I want to play. What was her song? She said, Mom, if myself played it for me. What is the name of the song? I can't even remember what it is. But mm -hmm. she said you played it for her. She said you played it for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, boot up. What she say? What do she say for boot up? But that. <laughs> y'all got that. I'm gonna have to get her to sing it to y'all one day so he could be weak. They're my babies though. My boo boos. Let me tell you, I got a grandma. My grandma. I, I'm not even gonna lie and tell y'all her age because I don't know it. What is that? A fly. I hope it ain't a fly. But um, my grandma is older. She's elderly. And I um, I sit with her during the daytime. And she uh, 
asked me, she said, how many kids you got? I said, four. She said, hmm. And she asked me this question all the time. She said, how many kids you got? I said, four. She said, two boys and two girls? You know, that's the usual. I said, no. I got one boy and three girls. She said, hmm. Poor fella. <laughs> And then she said, well, how old are they? I said, well, Marcel is 20. 20? I said, yeah. She said, I said, and Morgan is 17. And she said, well, how old is the other two? I said, four. Four? Well, how old is the other one? I said, no, the twins are four. She forgets. So I said, the twins are four. And she said, mm, twins? Mm, he must have been saving that one up. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, <laughs> don't do it, man, I, but ain't nothing I can say because I feel like old people have lived long enough to be able to say what they want to say or they feel, they feel that they have lived long enough to say what they want to say. My grandma anyway, that's my baby doll. That is my baby, that's my baby, don't you eat my food. Okay, you don't eat my food tonight. I want you to eat my food. You're a little sleepy. Ow. This is how we act when we get sleepy. Ow. Ow. I'm really tired for real. Ow. 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 
Yep. Hopefully I'll be able to um, record one of our recording sessions for y'all soon so that y'all can see what we do when we do what we do. But um, what? anyway, what? What? the twins have, okay. I'll give it to you in a minute. Okay. They need their mommy. Mommy. Sure, for team mom. You want to say hey to the fam? Okay, that's not a sip. That was a go. Come say hey to the fam. Say hey, fam. Hey, fam. <laughs> Bye, boo boo. <laughs> she ain't want me. She just wanted to come down here and drink my drink. But, um,. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I am full. He full, but he's still eating. <laughs> then he going to be like, Mom, I'm miserable. I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> but make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, make sure that you hit the bell for any uploads that I post in the future. You'll be the first ones to know about it. But until next time, guys. Peace. Dad. How you doing? Do it. Dad. Dad, do it. You look very old. <laughs> <laughs> look, oh. <laughs> Cut it off. And you, you know what?